Hey guys, Daniel here of PinoyTechnoGuide.com and this is my full review of the Honor 95G smartphone. I'm very excited to review this because it features a 200 megapixel main camera, quad curve display with flicker-free eye protection, accelerated edition processor, and 66 watts of fast charging technology. Let's start this review with the unboxing. It comes in a simple white box with the phone's name printed in gold color. Inside the box are the smartphone itself, a free transparent phone case, the fast charger, USB Type-C cable, SIM ejector pin, and a USB Type-C to 3.5mm audio jack adapter. It's available in several color options including midnight black and diamond silver but this one is the emerald green variant. It's a darker shade of green in person with a glittery frosted texture at the back. The diamond silver variant looks more sophisticated with its intricate design but the other colors are more straightforward. The moon face design of the rear cameras immediately draws attention to the Honor 95G with its unique look. The phone is under 3 inches in width and just 7.8mm in thickness, making it very handy. What makes it comfortable to hold are the curved edges both of the back and the front glass panel. The volume and power buttons on the right side are a bit too thin for me though. At the bottom are the loudspeaker, USB Type-C port, and SIM card tray. It can accommodate two nano SIM cards with no memory card slot. You won't really need it though because there's already a massive 512GB of storage on this smartphone. On the front of the Honor 95G is its eye candy of a display, a 6.7-inch AMOLED display with 1.5K of resolution which means vivid colors and sharp details. It's a quad curved display or curved on all sides, making it look elegant and smooth to swipe from the sides, the top, and the bottom. It also has 120Hz of screen refresh rate for smooth animations and up to 1600 nits of peak brightness for watching HDR videos on Netflix. It's bright and legible outdoors even under the noontime sun. The quality of this display sets the Honor 95G apart from its competitors. With this feature-packed display, Honor is also addressing concerns of eye fatigue with a prolonged smartphone usage. Aside from reducing blue light at night, it has 3840Hz of PWM dimming technology and certified as risk-free in terms of screen flickering. We don't usually notice this screen flickering in other smartphones but many people are sensitive and experience eye fatigue or even headaches. This is greatly minimized in the Honor 95G as shown in this high shutter speed video. It received the flicker free certification from Two Brain Blend and gold display certification from DxO Mark. Aside from the display, another key feature of the Honor 95G is its 200 megapixel camera at the back. It's actually a triple camera system with a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. Using the default photo mode, pictures look bright and sharp with vibrant colors, especially in daytime. It uses some processing to make pictures pop and increase the sensor's dynamic range. The pictures are binned down to 12 megapixels, but you can still use the full 200 megapixel resolution by using the high res mode. In low light scenes, it still outputs good looking pictures, but the processing can result in oversaturation of colors. Using the pro mode unlocks the phone's true potential and I managed to capture this picture of the Milky Way galaxy. But you'll have the most fun with the portrait mode. It blurs the background for that DSLR-like effect and makes faces look more pleasant. Edge detection is decent and you can shoot at 1x or 2x zoom level for better framing and reduced camera distortion. It also works well at night, although the overall quality is slightly reduced. Here are some more sample pictures. The ultrawide camera is also fun with its versatility. It can capture expansive pictures as well as close-up macro shots. It even captured this impressive low-light picture with a dedicated night mode. For video recording, the Honor 95G can shoot up to 4K videos with software video stabilization. I also captured this slow-motion video using the device with another one this time in low-light. Meanwhile, there's a 50 megapixel camera on the front which guarantees sharp details on your selfies. It also has an ultra-wide mode that can fit more people in the frame and a portrait mode with the same blurred background effect. 
make sure you choose your preferred amount of beautification. In low light, selfies still look decent thanks to the screen fill light function. It can also capture 4K videos in both regular and ultra wide modes. The Honor 95G uses a Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 processor. It's the accelerated edition so the Prime CPU is slightly faster at 2.5 GHz, coupled with plenty of RAM at 12 GB. This means smooth performance in many popular apps, scrolling across Facebook or TikTok feels snappy while switching between different apps feels fluid. To compare its performance with your current smartphone, here are its Geekbench 6 scores. 1,115 points for single core and 3,186 points for the multi-core test. Now let's talk about its gaming performance. Mobile Legends can run up to ultra graphics quality but with a few frame drops. Staying at the recommended high graphics quality setting results in a smooth gaming experience even during team fights. Call of Duty Mobile can be pushed to very high graphics quality for multiplayer matches and high graphics quality for battle royale mode. I had a lot of fun playing COD with this phone. Oh, the last game I tested is Genshin Impact and it sets the graphics quality to low by default. I tried increasing the graphics quality but there were more frame drops and the phone started to heat up which means it's nearing its limit. <laughs> The Honor 95G runs on Android 13 with Honor's Magic UI software. It comes preloaded with Google apps like YouTube and Gmail, and popular apps like Facebook, Netflix, and TikTok. It also has several useful features like Honor Connect, Honor Share, customizable always on display, and a lot of shortcut switches. However, there are also apps that seem to serve redundant functions with Google apps like the Honor App Market and the YoYo Assistant. It's a dual SIM smartphone with 5G connectivity, so it can provide fast mobile internet connectivity in areas with 5G signals, and falls back to 4G in rural areas. Its earpiece sounds clear with voice calls, while the loudspeaker is decent. Is the seat free? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, yep. please. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I would have loved a stereo speaker setup though. There's no 3.5mm audio jack, but the free adapter takes care of that if you don't have USB Type-C earphones. For security, it has an under-display fingerprint scanner that unlocks the phone quickly. There's no mention of any official water or shutter protection, so you might have to use this with a phone case. Despite the slim profile of the Honor 95G, it still comes with a high-capacity 5000mAh battery. It can last more than a day with my normal use, and I'm usually left with around 30% battery life at night. When playing games continuously, it needs a recharge after about 7 hours. The 66W fast charge included in the box can charge the device to 60% in 30 minutes and 100% in about 1 hour only. It's a long-lasting battery coupled with convenient fast charging, and I love it. In conclusion, the Honor 95G is an impressive smartphone in terms of display, cameras, storage space, and battery for the price. Its official price in the Philippines is 24,990 pesos at launch and comes with a free JBL Flip 6 wireless speaker in its pre-order promo. I've already recommended this smartphone for some people and it gets a thumbs up from me. However, take note that it's still behind premium smartphones in low-light photography, gaming performance, and overall build quality. But it's a smartphone to beat in its price category. So that's my review of the Honor 95G. I had a lot of fun using this smartphone. I have more smartphones to review, so don't forget to click that subscribe button and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next review here on Pinoy Guy.